Now at four, with coronavirus cases surging in California, Governor Newsom is pulling an emergency break. 41 counties, or 94% of California's population, will now be in the most restrictive purple tier. These last 10 days have been challenging. The last 10 days, these numbers have increased substantially. Uh, we need now to be more aggressive, more surgical, more targeted. Statewide coronavirus cases have doubled in the past 10 days. Thanks for joining us on this busy Monday afternoon. I'm Adrian Moore. And I'm Curtis Bay. And another change to the system means you could expect tier changes much more often. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live in Roseville with the impact. Marissa? Yeah, Curtis, one week ago today, Placer County was in the orange tier, but as of this afternoon, they have slid back two tiers to purple, joining 40 other counties across the state. Now, purple tier means no more indoor operations for museums, places of worship, gyms, and restaurants as this tier slips back to the most restrictive. Last week, Placer County leaders said they wouldn't enforce the tier change, telling businesses to do what they can to stay open. Now leaders say they're sticking to that policy. The restaurants off Vernon Street here in Roseville are using tents to keep outdoor seating open as we head into the winter months, but some say now they'll stay open indoors, considering Placer County isn't sending out inspectors. I'm glad that we don't have to fear about constant pop inspections from the county. I think it's good that they're giving businesses the opportunity to um, figure out what works best. Why do we think that moving our businesses into the most restrictive status is going to do anything when we say you see cases spiking all across the state in counties that weren't even open? And the county supervisor who you just heard from still questioning the fairness of the tier system saying this affects smaller counties like Placer and says this is a health advisory, not an executive order. He says this is not a requirement from the state, so he's not sending any inspectors out here to Roseville anytime soon.